guys, I'm Seaweed from Tribal Suit Project and welcome to a super spectacular creative corner. Today I am going to be showing you guys how to make a witch's reef. <laughs> the things that we're going to need to make our witch's reef, you're going to need the ring for the reef. You're going to need some deco mesh or whatever kind of material you choose to use to make it. You're going to need the witch's hat, the witch's feet, a broom, scissors, wire, and anything else that you can use to embellish your wreath. You also might want some extra um, pipe cleaners as well. So the first thing we're going to do to make our witch's wreath is we're going to move this out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and fluff up our wreath ties so that they are easily accessible to us as we are making the wreath. Okay. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to find the starting point for my deco mesh. And then I'm simply, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it on the ground because it's easier to work with like that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to bunch up the end like so. And then I'm going to take about an elbow length. So from my arm to my elbow and I'm going to make a puff, one puff, just like that. And then I am going to secure that, if you can see it, these rings, they have an inner and an outer ring. So I'm going to begin by securing my puff right on one of the inner rings. And you should leave your, you should leave your ties standing straight up when you tie it in especially if you're going to be putting other embellishments on it as well. So I am going to continue making puffs at about the same size as that first one I made and just go right around the entire wreath, the entire inside ring of the wreath. Once you've got your entire inner circle done, you're going to go ahead and begin on the outer circle. You're just going to continue on with your deco mesh to the outside. So this is what it should look like when you have completely circled your wreath with the mesh and then you could just go ahead and use scissors to cut off where you ended. Alright, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these little embellishments um, along it. Um, I'm just going to randomly tie it on there using the ties that are on the reef. Just to give it a little extra something something.
those embellishments on. I'm going to go ahead and start by placing my hat. And I chose, I've chose chosen this really cute little hat because I think it's super cute. And first what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of look at my wreath and decide where I want the top to be. Um, I think... I think this is going to be the top. I think I'll hang it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach, I think, my hat just right, right about there like that. And the way I'm going to attach it is I'm going to use some wire. buy them they come with a little tie inside this one does not so I am just going to attach the legs in the same fashion that I did the hat and I'm going to use wire And the way I'm going to attach my broom is I am just going to use, I'm just going to lay it straight across and use the existing ties that are already on there to tie it on. But first I want to clean this up just slightly, get rid of a couple of these things that are sticking out all awkward like. That looks better. That's better. Okay. So I am just going to... And now once I've got my broom on there, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my extra embellishments. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take these guys, I think I'm going to take these off. And then I'm just going to use, um, I think I'll just I'll tie them on every so often, just, you know, kind of randomly in spots. Alright, and so then I'm going to make a couple of little ribbon bows. And I think... And what I'm going to do is I am going to I want them to be about this size. So I'm going to make several of them.
something to add on my spiders. There we have a completely finished witch's wreath. I hope you guys learned something from watching this and I would love to see what kind of wreaths you guys create. It'd be really cool if you would to leave a comment down below with a picture of the wreath that you made. I would really love to see it. Um, if you like the, vid the video, please don't be afraid to hit the like button and subscribe. Go to my website, check out some of our other cool stuff that we do. And until next time, guys, Great, lots of cool stuff. Happy Halloween. Bye.